Everybody, it is Philly Fix here today with a request that came in from Kendra D. Uh, Kendra, thank you. She hired me to call her husband, Sean, who works for a home insulation company. Uh, so I thought it would be a good idea to take a little bit of a spin with one of my other characters uh, and add a very vicious smoking problem. So let's hear one of my characters call Sean. Hey, Sean, how you doing? <coughs> Good, how are you? Yeah, listen, I got, I got your number. You do the, the home insulation, right? You insulate the homes with the with the insulation? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we did. Okay, well, I can't, I had a problem with the last guy. The guy came in and he filled my walls with the insulation. The wife caught him with the pants down halfway through the job, touching himself to some of those videos on the internet. You know, so we can't have, you know, inappropriate guys in my attic doing the weird stuff with the, with the privates. I'm just not going to deal with that anymore, you know? <laughs> no, I understand. I understand. Sure, sure. So listen, I'm a heavy smoker, uh, you know, and, and some, of the ins <coughs> some of the insulation that they had in there before, it kept catching on fire. I, 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 I'm a man, sometimes I fall asleep after I drink a couple, you know, and, and that, that insulation they had was extremely... <coughs> It was flammable as all hell, you know, and I need insulation that, <coughs> that's fireproof, cigarette proof, you know, the wife keeps yelling at me, Jimmy, will you freaking get a guy out here, and like I said, we caught a guy with his pants down, so we just can't have that, Sean. Got it. Okay, what kind of insulation, <coughs> what kind of insulation do you got? Uh, we blow fiberglass insulation. Fiberglass. All right. Is that fireproof? Yeah, pretty much all insulation you put in attics is is uh, you know combustible retardant nowadays. So sure, most of, sure. Most of I'm on the phone nowadays. with him now. I'm on the phone with him now. <laughs> all right. When can you guys come on out here? <laughs> Where are you located at? I'm at uh, West 44th Street, down by the Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> West 40th. Where's yeah. that at? We're about to Kansas City. I had a guy up there before. He gave me a quote. He said, listen, Jimmy, I'm going to tell you right now, your walls are covered in filth. Your house smells like a cigarette's asshole. And I said, Jesus, I haven't heard anyone talk like that since the 70s, you know. And I'm over here minding my business. Like I said, I like to drink a couple before I go to bed, <laughs> before I pass out. And sometimes I like to smoke my Marlboros, you know. And who the hell is anybody to judge me, so... Sean, I don't even know anymore. I got it. Right, right. So, uh, Sean, when can you come by? <laughs> uh, text me your address. <laughs> Excuse me. It's. Text, oh, boy. Text me your address. Right. I'm driving at the moment. And okay. I'll get back with you because uh, I'm driving to my next destination. So, <laughs> text me your address. Okay. And I'll get back with you. That sounds great. I appreciate the time there, Sean. All right, thank you. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Kendra, thank you again. Uh, Sean was awesome. I don't know how he put up with me, but uh, guys, if you send in your requests, be patient. I'm getting to them as soon as I can. Uh, quality over quantity. Thank you.